She a big old freak, it's a must that I hate. It's a hot girl summer, so you know she got a Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'll be doing a glam look, I guess. This is my first time applying foundation on my own self, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I'm gonna give it a shot. But before we get into the video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time I make a post. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Now I'm just going in and cleaning up my eyebrows a little bit and filling them in. So now I'm using a concealer to clean up under my eyebrows to make them more defined. So now I'm taking that same concealer that I concealed under my eyes with and I'm using that to prime my lids so my colors can show up brighter. And now you see me brushing off the excess um, setting powder. The setting powder I used was Airspun Loose Face Powder. Um, and it was in the color Translucent. This little fancy thing I got was from the Box of Crayons website. And basically, as I'm doing my makeup, I can clean my brushes off, which is really cool. And I think it was only like five bucks. I'll um, leave the link down below. So if you guys are interested, then you can purchase it. So as you guys can see, this is the Box of Crayons palette. Um, I ordered this palette from the Box of Crayons website, of course. I'll have that link down below as well. And what you'll see me doing further in the video is me taking the color tan. And I'm using that as like my crease shade, I guess. Oh, 
Said I want your man know the If he rich, why he still hitting licks? Now I'm using my setting spray to spray my flat brush and this is just so the color blue inside of the palette will pick up better consider it's in glitter and I'll pack that on the top of my lid. They busy running in their mouth. Now I'm using the color Deep Plum in the palette and I'm using that on like the outer corner of my crease and I'm dragging it inward to kind of darken it up a little bit. Now I'm going in with the color black and I'm using this to just darken up my crease and kind of make my look a little bit bolder. Once again, I'm using my setting spray to pick up the shade Baby Blue in the palette and I'm using a flat brush considering it's glitter so I can pack it on the front portion of my eyelid. Now I'm taking the shade white and I'm placing that in the tear duct of my eye. Now you see me using just a regular makeup wipe to wipe off the excess um, dust that fell from the eyeshadow. Using my eyelash glue, it's by Kiss and it's called Envy super strong hold eyelash adhesive and it's clear so when it dries it dries clear and before you're applying your eyelash you put it on and it actually turns blue when it's ready to stick on your eyelash so that's really cool before i apply my eyelash i'm actually going to apply some mascara preferably a black mascara and i'll actually have mine linked down below Now you see me with foundation on my face. I'm using the um, Fit For Me foundation, the matte and poreless one. I'm in the color 370 Deep Bronze, and I'll have that linked down below. Um, I'm also applying some of the concealer I used because I felt like my foundation was a little dark, so I used that to kind of like tone it down a little bit. Now you see me setting my highlighted areas with that same airspun loose face powder and like I said everything that I've used in this video will be linked down below. Now 
Now I'm spraying some of my Urban Decay All Nighter Cherry Scented Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. Um, it smelled really good, but I wasn't used to spraying that much on my face, so excuse me. My lips I'm lining them with this shade called eggplant um, then I'm gonna go in with a pink shade and then on top of that I'm just gonna put a gloss over top So this is the end of the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was my first time applying foundation and doing like that highlight and stuff or whatever. So if you have any like tips and tricks, maybe, you know, comment them down below so I can learn and better myself. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the post notifications bell so you're notified every single time I post. Um, I guess in the end this turned out to be like a blue smoky look. I'm feeling it though. I'm feeling it. And I hope you guys are feeling it. So like I said, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.